right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, without further ado, I'm going to smash open this rock. This is done in a certain way. This is Jersey style. You're going to need a hammer. You're going to need a cloth of some sort. And you're going to need a beer. Well, second one's optional, or third one's optional, but anyway, let me set this up and I'll get right back to you. Alright, so as you can see, the rock is contained in the cloth and set up so the coin is on the edge that I'll just be hitting the corner of it like this, and then you just give it a nice little shot, second shot, third shot, and you hit it just enough. And we should be loose. Let me check. I'll be right back to you, folks. Alright, folks. So if you do this right, you should be able to open it up and have the clump rock pretty much busted up. And, some, and here we go. We got fortune on this one. Usually you might have to wrap it again, but the coin is loose. I don't know what it is yet, but it's loose. And here's what's left over. And that's just scrap. You just throw it in the scrap pile, but there is no other coins in there. I'll smash it up a little more just to be sure. And I might even just hit it with the metal detector real quick. I'll be right back. Let me see what this coin is later. The last level here, cleaning off the coin, see what we got. Um, if it's really still encased in heavy iron, then we usually just use electrolysis. But this one's enough where I might be able to get it cleaned real quick. Let me see what I can do. I'll get right back to you later. All right, folks, I'm not one to BS the public, so what we had in that clump rock was a 1946 Weedy. Not what I was hoping for, but so be it. It's still a Weedy. And you can see the back. Cleaned it up quick in about five minutes with my uh, super secret confidential cleaning method that I cannot reveal here. But I'm not done with it yet. I'm going to clean it up entirely. But that's what we got. Not what I was hoping for, but so be it. Later.